Day 19 and our total consecration to Jesus through Mary. Mary's motherhood is a gift. St. John Paul II tells us, Mary's motherhood, which becomes man's inheritance, is a gift. A gift which Christ himself makes personally to every individual. The Redeemer entrusts Mary to John because he entrusts John to Mary. At the foot of the cross, there begins that special entrusting of humanity to the mother of Christ, which in the history of the church has been practiced and expressed in different ways. The same apostle and evangelist, after reporting the words addressed by Jesus on the cross to his mother and to himself adds, and from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. John chapter 19, verse 27. This statement clearly means that the role of a son was attributed to the disciple and that he assumed responsibility for the mother of his beloved master. And since Mary was given as a mother to him personally, the statement indicates, even though indirectly, everything expressed by the intimate relationship of a child with his mother. And all of this can be included in the word entrusting. Such entrusting is the response to a person's love, and in particular to the love of a mother. Words of our mother founders, Mother de la Galindo. The maternity of Mary is a gift, an immense gift that Christ has given to each one of his disciples and to the whole church. Like one of the many pearls that flowed from his agonizing heart on the cross, this maternity, that is a gift, is manifested in many forms in the life of the church. Above all, it is manifested through the constant maternal mediation, care, protection, maternal education and formation, intercession, and battle that our mother engages in for the life of the church. All gifts should be received with reverence, gratitude, with love and responsibility. The mature response of the human heart before a gift is that that it receives should always be to welcome it, treasure it, care for it, and guard it in the heart, and to allow all the areas of his or her life to be radiated by the presence and powerful effects of the gift. The human heart must receive the gift, guard the gift, and allow the gift to form, mold, and transform the whole life. Offer the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.